Hello. Uh, this morning I saw a request from uh, one of my subscribers saying, why don't you do something about the Met Gala? And it just so happened that yesterday evening I had done something about the Kim Kardashian Marilyn Monroe dress. And I uh, did say to her, yeah, I thought that was enough. But I thought better of it because it is the Met Gala after all. I am not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to show one or well, maybe five or six of the dresses just to draw some lessons. And I'm going to start and then I'm going to talk about the Kardashian um, Marilyn Monroe dress because I think that's quite um, an interesting point of focus, actually. But I'm going to start with the massive sculpture that was in the end, by the looks of things, the entrance hall for the Met Gala. And it's supposed to be the Statue of Liberty. Well, there's the hand and there's the torch. Where is the rest of the lady? And it occurred to me, with all the problems identifying women nowadays, that this was a representation of that lady disappearing up her own fundament. So maybe it's entirely appropriate to start off with. Well, ladies and gentlemen, any good meal starts with the crudité. Now, here we have Cara Devine, who really should be wearing a bra. And I think she, it's supposed to be something about the golden age of Hollywood or the gilded years or something. So I think she thinks she's doing Goldfinger. Um, I wouldn't if I were you, darling. All right, now here's a lady in a very large dress. I'm going to show you a cartoon. They were very popular in Victorian times of ladies in very large skirts as well. Here you are. And you can, there are a couple to that effect of men hanging on to things in order to shake hands with a lady to whom they're being introduced. All right, so here's a lady in a huge black skirt. I mean, it may be she's just trying to smuggle in a friend who didn't get the invitation. Now, um, I'm showing you this just to remind you that there were some sane people at that party. That's all. Very nice. Uh, a dress and here is there's there's a thing about leather there and this one uh, looks like uh, some uh, skinny kid who's um, dressing up in mum's clothes I mean look at those 1970s boots um, it's just a shame that her mum happened to be a dominatrix isn't it all right here's a particularly crude example of uh, Expensive material being wasted. I don't know who that, that woman is. And here, uh, people for whom, obviously, times are tough. And, you know, if you don't know how to put wallpaper up, don't try. That's all. And if you can't afford a decorator, just stick to paint. All right, here comes the bride. And... And, well, obviously an Orthodox rabbi. I don't know uh, how they managed to invite him, but there you are. Here's another dominatrix. Does she look happy in that dress? The point about fashion is it's supposed to make you look good and feel great. Does it look like this woman, whoever she is, is enjoying that dress? Doesn't look like that to me. And here's another, well... It looks like a sort of, <sighs> I don't know what, a, a bastard child of an eagle and a coal miner. Uh, who knows? All right. And here is uh, the Mad Hatter. And here's another dominatrix here. She She's wearing pearls round her ankle. Pearls require a lot of care. They are the layered protection that an oyster puts around a piece of grit. They are very delicate. They are worn round the neck for a reason. You don't wear them round your feet. That's just disrespect to the oysters. 
and to the people who had to uh, dive to get those pearls, because I'm quite sure that that sort of a woman at this sort of a do wouldn't be using cultured pearls. Here is a uh, another long train, Cleopatra and her attendants. You can tell who the attendants are, can't you? They're the ones wearing the masks. You know, in Korean theatre, I have been told, in Korea, traditional theatre, the actors wear masks and various ranks of society are depicted by the various styles of masks. And they all have uh, removable jaws, not removable, movable jaws, so that the actors can speak, all except for the peasants. The peasants don't have movable jaws because peasants don't have a voice. All right, now, uh, this is Lenny Kravitz giving what is described as a thrilling performance. Here's a woman who's come as a Victorian theatre. What I want to know is, where's the smoking section? All right, and this is Sarah Jessica Parker uh, as a, I don't know what, a shop awning. I mean, that's her look. Yeah, There's definitely Sarah Jessica Parker look, so I can't criticise that too much. And right, now I'm going to talk about the Marilyn Monroe thing. This is Kim Kardashian, who apparently bought the Marilyn Monroe dress and then spent maybe dieting down to fit it and 14 hours, she said, having her hair bleached. I think she would have done better to have got a wig because if you're going to bleach your hair and then scrape it back into um, a, uh, a Mrs. Smith style, then uh, what's the point? And the whole point about the Marilyn Monroe hairstyle was it looked a little bit tousled. It's what really gets me about the Kardashian, Kardashian wearing of this dress is that she didn't appear to understand that A, the dress doesn't do anything for her and B, she's wearing it wrong. Uh, and she's wearing it wrong because she doesn't understand the basic philosophy of what is Marilyn Monroe. Here we have, uh, I'll contrast two pictures. Here is um, Kim Kardashian wearing the white stole and accompanied by a, an escort. And here is Marilyn Monroe wearing the same thing, accompanied by an escort. This, the contrast could not be more stark. This is, well, in my opinion, I may be wrong, not sexy. This is sexy. Now, Thinking about it, first of all, her hair, you know, it's got that slightly tousled look. Part of the dress is coming off her shoulder. She looks like she is either, un well, she basically looks like she's undressing, doesn't she? Just like she's on the point of letting the whole outfit just drop to the floor. Whereas Cardassian is definitely not in that situation. Also, it appears that Cardassian is wearing quite a lot of uh, structural underwear, let's put it that way, whereas Marilyn Monroe is so comfortable with her body that you can even see the little swell of her stomach there and her navel. She's obviously wearing nothing underneath that dress. I mean, uh, she might be wearing a thong, but somehow I doubt it. Anyway, whatever, that's a sexy picture and this isn't. And the worst of it is that Kardashian doesn't know that. She thinks that she is going to get the kudos of wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress and doesn't realise that the kudos is not of wearing the dress. It's of not wearing it, which is what Marilyn Monroe is doing. And it shows up uh, poor old Kardashian for the... Um, how would I put it? The mass, produ mass production figure that she is, whereas uh, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe was one of a kind. 
And the worst is that there was a very gushing article about it in Vogue, about how how exciting and thrilling and marvellous this dress was. And what really upsets me is that nobody is saying what a falling off this is, what a lack of self-awareness this is, what a lack of ability to tell the difference between the genuine and the plaster. Yet, yeah, right, this is a plaster cast of Marilyn Monroe. It's, it's not only not the real thing, it's... Well, I was going to say it's an insult. It isn't an insult. It's, it's a degeneracy of the Marilyn Monroe image. And I'm not saying, by the way, that Kardashian is degenerate in any way. What I am saying is that she doesn't, she doesn't, and the people who are look at, looking at her do not understand how far down the scale this is uh, from the original. All right, well, that's my um, rundown, very quick rundown of the Met Gala. There were some quite nice dresses there, but there were some people there who just don't know how to wear clothes or indeed even what clothes are for, really. Right, well, I'm Granny Opterix. I am to be found on YouTube, Rumble, Bitshoot and Minds. When I upload a video... I am at Granny Opterix on Twitter, Gab and Parla, and I always let you know um, when I've uploaded uh, something so you don't have to miss a video. Right, that's it. Oh, please, yeah, like the video, share it, make sure your subscription is live and support my channel if you can. I would appreciate it. Uh, horseshoes cost a lot of money and it's always useful to have a little extra to pay for them uh and uh, see you next time why not treat yourself or a favored relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch the mugs and t-shirts come in the granny opterix design or grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles Go to www.grannyopterix.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.